Today, let's teach you how to create a music loop for your podcast. It's all coming up next. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today's video is brought to you by my six clever ways to monetize a podcast ebook that is available right now on my website at theshanman.com. This ebook breaks down my 20 years of radio experience and how we've been able to monetize not only radio, but our assets online as well. And this book uh, breaks it all down for you and help, tells you how you can apply it for you, your podcast, and your website. Everything from sponsorships all the way to the creation of the content that you are already making and how you can reuse that to monetize. Again, you can go ahead and grab it down and download it today. It's on my website, theshaman.com. You can go ahead and click the link down below in the description. And of course, check for a coupon code as of this recording to see if you can get a certain percentage off the ebook. It's definitely worth the read. And of course, hopefully we'll give you some new ideas to monetize your podcast. So today we're talking all about how to create music loops for your podcast. Now I realize there's a ton of videos out there that will teach you how to create music loops, whether you're in audacity, audition, Pro Tools, however, okay? And I think it's important to say this when it comes down to utilizing a certain uh, audio editing program or a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, all right? And just know that they all do something a little bit different, okay? Some have more capabilities than others. Some have different capabilities. And it all really ba is based in the technique and based in how, how easy or how complicated you want to make the audio sound, all right? Some of these programs are used for creating, uh, you know, music, live recordings. Sometimes they're record, uh, used for for creating studio recordings, sometimes they're for podcasts, sometimes they're for audiobooks, it just all depends. They all have different capabilities. And what I'm going to show you today is the capability of how, or, or my techniques of what I'm using inside of Adobe Audition. You can certainly use this uh, technique um, in Audacity, but some of the techniques won't be available in Audacity, and if they are, then they're hidden in some type of, of menu, and you would probably wanna go look uh, at a, a tutorial on that and see if it does exist, all right? So let's go ahead and teach you today how to create a music loop. And in last vid uh, last week's video, I talked all about what you would want to do when you're looking for um, you know certain styles of music. Whether you're looking for free music, whether you're looking for uh, uh, royalty free music inside of Audio Jungle. And I sh I talked to you about this thing called opening logos or idents. All right, and how you can probably save yourself money by using uh, one of these pieces of music so that you can create a music bed for your podcast. It's all going to just all depend. All right. Now, when it comes down to getting your music, and as I mentioned in that previous video, which, of course, you can watch up here. I'm going to leave the link up here if you've missed that video. All right. And the link will be down in the description below. But if you missed that video, I talk about the value of the music. All right. The value of the music from free to paid is it, it, there's stark differences. All right. When you're paying for royalty free music, you're getting probably a lot better quality of music. But when you're getting free music, you can sometimes find quality music. It's just harder to look. All right. Now. I talked about last week going in and and searching for a certain style of music or a certain thing in music or, or in audio in audio jungle a certain style of music in audio jungle excuse me and that one is called logos or idents and logos or idents are typically what you would see in TV stations or radio stations a logo would be something that it's like a logo it's an identifier an audio branding identifier that helps you re uh, remember the the sound of the podcast and you can create all these things through different sound designs design elements if you did if you decided you want to go into that that realm and start learning how to do that uh, logos idents idents are typically you know identifiers that will uh, help you remi remind you of like maybe a segment on a particular TV program or maybe on a radio program and these are all short pieces of music they can range anywhere between five seconds to 20 seconds all right and it just really all depends all right now I want to jump into uh, audio jungle and I want to show you uh, what you can do when it comes down down to looking for idents, all right? Now, when we're looking for different idents and, and how we can utilize those idents, um, what we're doing is we're taking those and we are putting them in Adobe Audition, all right? Now, you can do the same thing in Audacity except for one technique that will not be found in Audacity, so I'll show you the first one that you can do in either Adobe Audition or Audacity, and then the second one will be just for Audition alone, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece or an audio, a piece of audio that is an ident or a logo, 
and we're going to we're going to loop it over and over so typically what happens with these logos or idents since they are 20 seconds they don't give you enough to expand upon it to make it like uh you know a 30 second or a one minute piece of music sometimes you want to have music beds uh for certain segments sometimes you want to have music beds for your intro it just really all depends and sometimes you can find some of these really cool pieces of music but they're just too short so how do we fix that well we're just going to create a loop all right now what you can do is you come into uh audio jungle because I recommend that you use Audio Jungle. They have a lot better quality inside of their uh, their platform. And you can look up just about anything, all right? Heavy metal idents, heavy metal logos, anything like that. And what you're gonna see here is you're going to see, I've already put it in here, heavy metal idents. We've already searched this term out. And you're going to see a different number of tracks, all right? Now we have all these tracks here and let's just pick this first one. And we're gonna listen to this first one. And this one says it's 20 seconds, but it's not completely true because you're seeing here, um, I, an ident or an identifier that is probably about 10 seconds long or maybe it's like eight seconds long and then they split it up and made different versions of it. So you see here, this first one here is probably gonna be 10 seconds, this second one's gonna be five and then this third one's probably gonna be like three seconds. It just all really depends, all right? Now, let's go ahead and hear what that, hear what it sounds like and you probably, you'll, so you can get a better understanding. Oops, let's start here. Audio. So you hear the three different versions, all right? And you can make these three different versions. You know, you can use them for certain things. And sometimes I don't even play with the audio. I just use them uh, as is. But sometimes I like it so much that I want it to repeat over and over and over. Now you look at it and you say the price is $8. And like, ah, $8 for 20 seconds, 20 seconds of music. Well, you're going to be reusing that over and over. And that's, again, you're going to want to look at the, the usage rights. And this is just going to give you the usage rights to, to use these logos and idents, all right? Now you can definitely expand upon these logos and idents if there's something that you really enjoy, all right? So let's say we went ahead and downloaded the heavy metal ident. In this case, what we're going to, we're going to come into Adobe Audition and you're going to see that I've already imported a couple of different uh, uh, idents or logos, all right? So I have this one that's called Massive, and then I have this one called Fashion Show Closing, and these for, are for different clients that I've used, all right? So let's just la uh, drag in uh, Massive logo, and let's hear how this one sounds. Oops, that's, oh my, I think I'm using the wrong, oh, here we go. We gotta use the right keyboard, because I have two keyboards that one's not plugged in. <laughs> So you're gonna see that it's just gonna loop over and over and over, but it only lasts, if I were to go ahead and drag this over and make this a solo track, you're gonna see it only lasts a total, the, the total bed is probably gonna last about 22 seconds, all right? It's gonna last about 22 seconds. And let's say I wanted it to be like 30 to 40 seconds, all right? It's just not gonna cut it because this is too short, right? So what I can do is I can do one of two things, all right? Now, this is for the Audacity and Audition people who want to take the long route, all right? And what you can do is you can uh, drag in your piece of audio and let's say we drag it in and we wanna start it at the beat, all right? We wanna start it at the beat and the beat starts like right around here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim this so I'm gonna see that my bracket at the edge of this particular audio file is there and I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna trim it to about right there, all right? And I'm gonna go in, and we're going to do the same thing here and then let's say we wanna drag it to about Right, oh, hear my cat. <laughs> You're gonna hear it right there, or maybe let's just drag it right there. All right, or maybe let's make it kind of imperfect. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in and let's see how it sounds. Oops, wrong keyboard. <laughs> So what I can do is I can just basically loop this over and over and bring it, drag it back down. And you can see that I've already done this here, all right? So let's go ahead and we can, let's press play. <laughs> so 
So I could do the same thing over and over. So when I first start out, I'm going to go ahead and trim it the way I need to trim it. And then I can I can go ahead and drag this wherever I need. Now, um, in this particular case, what I can do is I can go ahead and click on the original piece that I've already edited and then just say like, OK, right click, drag over. And then it's going to give you an option copy here. OK, so I'm going to just go ahead and copy here. And then I'm just going to want to find where the beat is, all right, where the beat ends. And so we're going to say it's like right about there. And then you can find you can figure it out if you listen to it long enough. All right. But you can hear that there is a pronounced edit there. Right. So there's a pronounced edit. Now you can keep doing this over and over and just keep making, uh, you know, a different uh uh, you know different different cuts and then uh, up to the point to where you get to 40 seconds all right now you can do it this long way you can do it that way or you can do it um the remix way so what we're going to do in this case is i'm going to go ahead and uh <clears throat> make this the solo track and then i'm going to drag in this uh file again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim it back out so we're going to trim it back out and then we're going to start right on the beat and then i'm going to uh, just make it a beat itself, like make it a make it like a 30 or 40 second beat. All right, we're going to drag it. Let's see how it sounds. So let's see how this sounds. All right. So the next step you want to take in audition. Now, this is just for audition people. All right. You're going to want to right click and come down to remix. You see enable remix. And so what you'll do is you'll press enable remix and this is going to analyze uh, the clip for um, where it can make the appropriate cuts. Now, once it's done analyzing, you can see that there are these uh, two different uh, little squiggly marks that are on the corners of the piece of audio. And this is, means that you it has analyzed the remix and we can go ahead and we can start making our own remix so let's go ahead and see that once we fly over our, our fly our mouse over those little squiggly lines you see that it's a remix and it shows like it's it shows two arrows kind of like uh uh you know crossfading on each other so let's go ahead and let's turn this into about a 30 second let's say a 30 to 40 second piece of music and it's going to go ahead and create the cuts for us all right so what we're going to do is we're going to press play and we're going to hear how these cuts sound <laughs> So you can hear that the cuts are pretty simple. All right. They're pretty simple. Like it's not going to sound very pronounced like what you're seeing on these two bottom pieces of audio. You're actually hearing a really good uh, 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 cut and a remix that is done. Now you could do use remix a number of different ways. All right. So let's go ahead and press like command Z and let's just take it all out. And let's say we just want to remix without having to edit anything. So let's hear what happens when we do a remix. And this is a lot of fun to play with really. Once you start playing with remix, it's just a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and come here, analyze, and then you can see it doesn't do too much of a remix because, you know, it, it's going to require a little bit more. But if we zoom in on the piece of audio, you're going to hear that there is going to be a remix on these squiggly lines right here. These squiggly lines tell you where the edits are. OK, so let's see what it sounds like. <sighs> So you can hear that it goes an extra beat. All right. So let's let's play around a little bit more because I like whoops. I like playing around with the remixes sometimes. And let's just say we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> we're going to edit to about right there. And let's say we want to get rid of this piece right here and we want to remix. Uh, let's say we want to remix between here and here and just let's just see what it does. Remix, enable remix, and then we'll expand it out and see what the remix does. Oops. So let's see what we got. So you can hear it's like a little less pronounced, but you can't even tell. And it just does this remix over and over. Now let's use a different piece of music or a different, <clears throat> different style, excuse me. And let's use this fashion show one. All right. So let's see what do we got here. This one goes. Okay. So let's say I wanted to, um, I wanted to just have like from here to about here uh, to just be the music bed to go over and over and over while I do an intro. Okay. So I would go ahead and I trim it out and trim it out 
just like that and then there's a part right here where you hear it kind of uh, a crescendo you hear something like kind of zipping up all right so let's go ahead and hear how that sounds so it's about right there so i want to probably end my I want to trim it right there and then see if we can go ahead and um, make a music bed or a remix of this particular piece of audio that we have here. So let's remix it out and then enable remix and then let's uh, zoom out. It's analyzed. Let's make it about a 30 second, 40 second bed and see what it does. Let's see here. So you can hear it's a little bit more of an edit. You can hear this, but it's catching it on the beat. So it's hardly noticeable, but you know, you're going to have to find the right beats on your own to make your own remix. All right. Now you can take different sounds. Okay. Let's say you take different sounds and I've done this before where I've, I've taken certain specific sounds alone and I've just trimmed them out and, um, I have uh, I have utilized them to kind of make an accent or an accent or on on an important word or something like that. So let's just say like here we go remix and you're going to see it's going to analyze out and it's let's remix out and you're going to hear it's just got it's going to sound a little different or a little weird. I've, I've had different remixes come up. So it's gonna be up to you, all right? So you can play with this. This is more fun than anything else just to play with Remix inside of Adobe Audition, but it definitely helps you create a loop a lot faster if you're trying to create a podcast where you need to see how it sounds. See, how, maybe you're, you're launching a podcast and you need to figure out how it sounds. You need to figure out how that the, the podcast is gonna flow with the music. So that's one way of how you can create um, remixes of those pieces of audio or maybe extend them out. So you can pay for it, something that's like $8, but you can extend it out, make it a longer piece of music if you need to all right that's going to be totally up to you all right if you like this video go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and down below go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, and so you can get notified or actually hit the bell button while you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified when I drop a brand new video to this podcasting channel. Um, I try to release podcasts every Thursday that will uh, help you with your podcasting journey and help you create a better podcast with the video tutorials that I go ahead and share right here with you. And of course, if you are starting this podcasting journey for the very first time and you haven't figured out which equipment that you need to use and you're like, where do I start? There is an essential equipment guide that you can find on my podcast or on my website. Uh, just go ahead and click the link down and below where it talks about the essential equipment guide and of course you can grab that guide for free today and don't forget you can go ahead and uh, grab the six clever ways to monetize a podcast down below too if you're looking to monetize that podcast and over here on your right hand side there's going to be a very special video that will help you with your podcasting journey in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this has helped you out and let me know uh if this is going to help you with your podcasting journey or if this is going to help you create better podcasts with this little trick that i've shown you inside of adobe Audition. And that would be really helpful for me. And of course, your feedback and comments down below do help out and help other podcasters as well. So I really would appreciate if you left a quality comment down below so that you can help them out. Okay, like I said before, over here on your right hand side, there's going to be a video that will help you out. And uh, in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.